<laughs> Rowdy just found a gopher. She's all excited about finding a gopher. Uh, we're going to talk about today is how do we change varietals but keep the old productive roots. So I'm going to talk about the anatomy of a grapevine a little bit here in that, and this is a good example. So if you see this that's coming out of the ground, that's actually growing off of the roots of this vine. And right here is the original graft union. It's smaller right there than it is here. So what happens throughout the world, America designed most of the disease tolerant roots for the world at Davis, UC Davis and other universities, um, Cornell. So this root is called 1103 Paulson. You've never had a glass of 1103 Paulson because it doesn't taste very good. But most of the roots that they developed for phylloxera and nematodes and, and soils, they found in, in riverbeds actually of Texas and Arizona that this vinifera, not so much wine grapes, but vines, were tolerant to the diseases in the soil. So what they do at the nurseries is they put bottoms on the plants according to the specifications that the grower orders. So what this would be called, I want Merlot on 11OC. So this Merlot is called Clone 3. The famous tops are mostly from Europe. So the way I like to talk about it is our bottoms are from America and our tops are from Europe. These buds up here are what determine what grapes were growing, okay? The DNA is right here in this little bud. Um, so what's fun is if we decide we want to change this Merlot to a, another type of grape, right now, March time of year, these are waking up. And if we cut this like now, it'll actually drip. We call that sap. It'll, it's pushing, starting to wake this vine up. So we can take a chainsaw, come in here and cut off this trunk during this time of the year, go take cuttings from the type of grapes that we want to have. So for example, if I wanted this to become, which it is now, Cabernet Franc, I slice this in a V. I don't have my knife with me, but I slice this in a V, sort of like that. Mm -hmm. um, and then you slice this trunk in a Y, like that. And then you stick that V in there like that. And then you wrap it with special tape. And then you paint it. And that's called a graph union. So we cut this trunk. We then notch the trunk. And then we put that new budwood in there, just like that. We'll leave about three buds. And then we tape it and paint it. And so what's crazy amazing, this was done just four years ago. And that was how big it was. And so we use two positions so that if one doesn't make it, we then select the healthy cane. And then we train a whole new grapevine. And this grapevine is now will be fully productive this year in producing an 80% crop. So again, this is our Malbec grafting program from 2015. So look at this, this trunk now is almost, in, you can already tell that it, you know, you can tell where you cut it, but it's almost as big. So fully productive Malbec uh, going into its sixth year. Um, all new wood, so that's why we do it. 1103 Paulson rootstock, a trunk from Merlot, and then a grafted over Malbec trunk that was grafted over um, five years ago. All that, that, that this trunk is providing for us is a conduit for the nutrients from the roots to come up and feed the vine, and, and the DNA is up here in the buds of the canes of this year. So this is Malbec. This is kind of where it all started. So 2003, um, you could still see one leftover tape. That just shows you how long that tape's all disintegrating now. But there's the original graft union um, on this Pinot Gris. And this is where I first came in and started the varietals that we have in the tasting room. And the reason we do this is because these roots are were so big, they're so they'll push so much faster than planting a new little bitty grapevine. The other reason why ranches are 
really wanting to do this now is we're not bringing in any outside product from anywhere else where it could be diseased. So we're keeping everything in-house by doing this. So we're, we know we're healthy all the way throughout all of this. So always, always, always ranches prefer, if we have it, to use all our own wood. So we have 14 varietals here. So if we need to expand, as long as I'm not changing to a grape I don't have, I can use all my own wood on the ranch to, to convert.